In this video, we'll talk about creating automatic citations with LaTeX. One of the really nice features of LaTeX when you're creating an article is that it can create citations and an entire reference page for you, similar to the EndNote add-on to Microsoft Word. The difference, of course, is that all of this is free. Now, there are a couple of ways to use automatic citations in LaTeX. I think the best way is through the NatBib package. So to get started, first thing we need to do is add that to our preamble. So up here I'm going to type use package NatBib. Once we've got the package loaded, the next thing that we need is a file with citations in it. We're going to refer to that file in our LaTeX code to pull out citations. And I've got an example called test.bib that I'm going to use in this video. But before we actually look at that file, I want to point you to the Jabref Reference Manager. This is a small program that you can download for free at the Jabref website. And it's a completely open source a bibliography reference manager. It allows you to very easily edit and add and save reference files that you can call later with LaTeX. So here's where you download it. This is what it actually looks like when you have it set up. So each of these entries is an article or book or other uh, citation. And if I double click on one of them, I can edit the various fields that provide information about this citation. Now notice there's one really important field here. This is called BibTech Key. This is the name that we're assigning to each particular article or book that we're going to refer to in our LaTeX code. The convention that I use when creating these is the last name of the first author, a colon, and the year. You can think of your own system or you can use this one. I think it's a fairly straightforward way to go. And we'll see exactly how we use this BibTech key in just a few minutes. Now let's get back to our tech file and set up the bibliography. First thing we're going to do is go all the way down to the end of the document. And we're going to enter two commands in here. One is backslash bibliography style and the other one is backslash bibliography. Inside the curly braces of the bibli bibliography style command, we are going to tell LaTeX which citation style that we want to use. For example, you could put APA or Chicago. In this case, I'm going to put APSR, that stands for American Political Science Review, because that's my field. But there are lots of different bibliography styles you can look up online to see which one is right for you. The second command we have here is bibliography, and that's pointing LaTeX to the actual file that our citations are stored in. That's the file that we were looking at in the Jabref software just a moment ago. And in this case, I've got that file called test. And you can just write the, the name of the file. It's called test. So now we're all set to write a citation in LaTeX. LaTeX will recognize that command and pull the citation out of the file test. It will insert that citation into our document and add it to the reference list according to the APSR bibliography style. Now the NatBib package contains a number of different ways to cite something from that file called test.bib and there's a helpful website that I'm going to point you to that gives you all of the different options and that is this NatBib reference sheet so for example notice right here we've got this command backslash cite t and then in curly braces this name John 90 that produces Jones et al 1990 there's also a command called cite p that produces the citation inside parentheses. 
So let's see how this would work in our document. First, I'm going to type backslash site T, and I'm going to type Stimson 1991. So this is the BibTeX key of a particular citation that I know is in that bibliography file. I could also type backslash site P 1991. So this first one is going to write the last name and just the year in parentheses. This is going to put the whole citation in parentheses. Now, when I first compile, after I've added citations, notice all I get are question marks. You actually need to compile your document three times anytime you add a brand new citation into your document. So I've compiled three times. Now I've got the citation with the parentheses only around the year and citation with the whole thing in parentheses. Also, notice that it's started to create a references list, which will be organized alphabetically automatically. Now there are several different options that go with the NatBib package. One that I think is useful is the option long names first. So if you go all the way up to your preamble and type long names first inside the square brackets on NatBib, we can do the following. Let's say you have a citation with many authors. For example, I know that I have one called Barry 1998. This has four authors. If I have the long names first option, then the first time that particular citation appears, LaTeX will type out all of the names of the authors. But then in subsequent uses of that citation, it will only say the first author's name and et al. So again, I've added a new citation, so I need to compile this three times. And so here we have all of the author's names first, and then the second time that citation appears, we just have the first and we have the et al. If you ever wanted the, the long names citation again later in the document, you can just type cite p star. And that'll produce the long names again. Now you can also add text either before or after the citation. So here's a citation as we've seen before. But there are two optional arguments represented by two sets of square brackets. In the first set of square brackets is text that you want to put before the actual citation. In the second set of square brackets is text or numbers that you want to put after the citation. So this is saying, see Carsey 2000, page 125. So I've added a new citation, so I need to compile three times again. And so here in this line we have the cite p star, that's what that produces, and here's our text before and after the citation. You can also add multiple citations in a string. way to do that is to separate them by a column. You don't even need a space. So I'm going to compile three times because I've added new citations. And here's what we see. Two different citations in one set of parentheses. 
You can also edit the actual punctuation style of citations through the NatBib package. What we do that is up in the preamble there's a command called bibpunct. I'm going to paste some code there. So it's backslash B-I-B-P-U-N-C-T. And after that there are a set of six curly braces and there's a different command inside each set of curly braces. So the first one right here is the opening bracket symbol. So I've just got a standard open parentheses. The second one is the closing bracket symbol. I've got a standard close parentheses. The third one is the punctuation between multiple citations. I've got this set to a semicolon. By the way, these first three that I've showed you are the defaults. The uh, fourth set of curly braces is a letter to describing the style. Um, I've got an A here, and that stands for author year. If I put an N, this would be a numerical citation style. And if I put an S, it would be numerical superscript style. I'm going to keep it at A for author year. The fifth set of curly braces is the punctuation that comes between the author names and the year. So the default is to have a comma here. If you put nothing, then you'll have nothing there. Finally, the sixth is the punctuation that comes between years or numbers when common author lists are suppressed. The default here is a comma. So with this command added, I'm going to go ahead and compile that. And the, the main change from what we've already seen to this point is that it's going to remove a comma. There used to be a comma between each author's name and the year. That's no longer there. So that's the basics of getting started with automatic citations in LaTeX. A couple of things to keep in mind. Your .bib file, so in this case we used a file called test.bib, must be in the same folder as your tech file so that LaTeX knows where to go to grab uh, that particular set of citations. It's also possible to put a bib file in one common location on your computer. Um, this gets a little bit problematic because it's in a, sometimes in a different location depending on the exact nature of your machine. The text on the screen here shows the file location that I place my bib files into and so you may look for a folder like that uh, to see if you can put a bib file in there that will allow you to draw on citations from one central location. Thank you.